So if undirected chemistry can't produce our coveted molecule during the entire history of the Earth, then how much time would have been needed? To find out, let's take a road trip. We'll start by erecting a bridge that spans the diameter of the observable universe, a distance of more than 90 billion light years. Then we'll place an amoeba on one end of the bridge. This single-celled organism will travel at the breakneck speed of one foot per year. It's off. While we wait for one protein to form, by chance. The amoeba slides along for more than five billion, billion, billion years to cross the entire universe and then return. But this race is just getting started. The amoeba takes off again, successfully reaches the far side of the cosmos, then heads back home. Yet not even one functional protein is anywhere in sight. For the next trip, we'll add a payload, a single atom. After inching its way another 500 billion trillion miles, the amoeba drops off its cargo and returns for more. Will it get back before our lucky protein forms? Absolutely. In fact, it will complete another 10 round trips, then 20, 100, 1,000. And there's still no sign of a usable molecule. The amoeba continues making round trips until it has hauled off every atom on Earth. Then, all of the atoms in our solar system. Then, every planet and star in the Milky Way galaxy, one atom at a time. In fact, as we wait for one protein to self-assemble, the amoeba has so much time that moving at just one foot a year and carrying one atom per round trip, it will transport the entire universe more than 56 million times. That's how long it would take for chance to build one functional protein.